Hi folks, this is Nikhil here from Immortals India and I have with me Mr. Rachit uh, who has represented uh, EXC India, uh, the, what should I say, the cafe which has homed us for the main qualifier happening here in Wadala and uh, he has uh, basically won the first phase of the qualifier. What's your take on uh, the event so far Rachit? So the event's been really good. I think Immortals has done a great job in organizing it as well. And even EXE as well, <laughs> at homing this particular thing. And it's, it's been the first time I've seen a huge number of people gathered in one place for an open tournament. And this is my first open tournament as well. And I think it's a great experience for anyone who comes, man. Like, it's a great experience for people to watch. Yeah, so basically the tournament's main objective has been to revive the LAN culture and to revive the LAN FIFA culture as well, in addition to the CSGO bit. So. We have the likes of uh, Saranj and some other few players who are known in the circuit and you have been, you know, like, this is your first tournament. I recognize yes, uh, yes. that uh, uh, you haven't been participating for the past few years yes. and uh, you are now participating again after quite a long time. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. So as I've been told, uh, you used to play earlier yeah. and uh, now you want to just pursue the dreams which are still there inside. Yeah, fair enough. So, your take on uh, how esports is currently, you know, like brewing up things in the Indian ecosystem? So, what I've noticed in the past couple of years is that esports is an upcoming thing. It's settled all around the world, but other than India, the things that see games are known. People know what games to play. But for them to make it, make a career out of that, it takes courage, it takes confidence because you're sacrificing a certain number of things to go up and what you're good at. And the thing is that the more people who participate in such tournaments, the more people would know about it, the more people would want to engage with it. Because the whole game is about engaging, right? Like, if I see a fact that someone's playing a game, for example, CSGO or a FIFA, and he's doing well in that in particular profession, as a profession. So it helps me as well, right? Like, today, I was just a person who had a controller and just played a game. But today, I'm one yeah, of the so winners you, of the phase. You, so you are qualifying into the next yeah, phase of the so, tournament. So that's how it works. Like, so it always starts with a dream, right? It's how you work towards that dream and the whole logic is that when I see other people play, I also would want to play. So Definitely. When I, yeah, so when I see them win, I want to win as well. So it's a, that's the way it works. So uh, what's your take on uh, your practice sessions and your drills? Uh, as we can see, the CSGO crowd is just yeah, getting just, crazier. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your take on uh, your practice sessions during the FIFA? You know, like when you are just spending time working on your skill sets and everything, how do you go about it? So it depends, I practice out of EXC India, which is in Vadala and um, so it basically works on the basis that I, I play 12 hours a day to 14 hours a day and it goes from anywhere from, I play in different different levels, so I start with a set an amateur, practice certain sets, free kicks, penalties, then I go to a legendary, then sorry, from amateur I go to a professional, then to an legendary and ultimate. So I keep on increasing my difficulty and with each difficulty I try to understand how can I make my game better? Because when you play against the computer, there are certain skills you cannot hone, you don't play with the player. And I have another representative from my, from EXC as well who plays with me. So with him, you get to understand a different kind of a game. And, yes. we and since we're a cafe, we have people coming in. So I even play with them to understand how different people play and how can I make my game better. So you have different scalability options available yes, to you. Yes, and yes, that's yes, how yes. you are, you know, basically grading yourself. Yes. So that's a good positive note that, uh, you know, you have basically. And uh, to take things forward, I would also want to know, uh, like, what is your uh, say when uh, someone says that uh, esports is not a viable option, like you even mentioned earlier, that esports is not a valuable, uh, viable option, sorry, uh, in India so far. Uh, but what about those kids who are already representing the country at a very raw age? Hmm. I would say a tender age of 18 hmm. and they're already representing the country. Hmm. So what's your take on those individuals? Someone to look up to. I'm 23. Like today if I see someone who's 18 or someone even who's 25 going at that kind of a level to go and play esports, there's nothing wrong with that. It, as it's always what you're good at, right? Like if today I'm good at playing FIFA, someone's good at that, you should always pursue it. What's stopping him, me, or what, what's, what's an age? Like, yeah, that, that's there. The yeah. age factor is the definitely... The age is just a number. So that's what I feel that... See, coming back to my main point that it's something if you want to do, you will go for it. If like, for example, it's for me, it's FIFA. For other people from EXC, it's CSGO. For some, it's Dota. For some, it's even some, some even Fortnite. But just the bottom line stays eSports. Yeah, the bottom line is eSports. So the bottom line being just being for me that at the end of the day, it's a passion. 
you make a passion at whatever age. I learned at the age of 20 that I want to actually get back into gaming. And at the age of 20s, people, as you said, that at the age of 18, people have already made it. So for me, at the age of 20, to come in back to the scene, start playing again, start practicing those skills all over again. It's going to be more harder. Yeah, it's harder for me to get back into it. But then again, it's all about passion. That's, that's a good point you made. So, what's your take on Jaunty's Yard? The tournament rules and uh, the difference in how he is going to bring in a different flavor for even uh, those players who are, you know, basically losing out but just on the edge. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't get that. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, one second. Will you, will you tell me what the rules were again? Uh, what were the five things I could say? So, you don't have to mention, it's just that. Just don't mention, just talk one. that how his rules are different. Okay. Okay. And how will it affect, like, you know, someone who loses, but just by basically, margin, uh, still get a chance. Basically, his rules back. are such that even if you lose by a margin, you can have that edge and you can get those points. Okay. okay. And still, and still have value. And still have value. Yeah. So, yeah, we can turn to the okay. wild card. That's what yeah. 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 So, uh, Rachit, what's your take on uh, Jaunty's yard? I mean, uh, the rule set that he has defined for this specific tournament have been different. And uh, so, what's your take on that? So, when the first time I heard the rules, it was just that it's something different that I've heard for the very first time. Because the thing is that, see, FIFA is a game of skill, yes, but it's also a game of luck. Because sometimes there's certain situations which you cannot handle and you end up losing. And that, that, that does not make you a bad player. Right, but with the help of Jaunty's rules, it's all about passion as well, right? Again, passion comes into the picture as well. So even the small instances, something like if you cut the keeper, if you have more shots on target, things that actually matter in the game can also help you come back into the next phase. So I think those are some rules that are actually different and people should actually look forward to such rules because it gives you another chance to, of redemption. Definitely. And uh, uh, taking things forward, what do you feel or who is probably going to be a titan for you in uh, the coming phases? Everyone. So basically everyone. Everyone. Everyone's an opponent. However big, small, doesn't matter. Everyone's I, I an opponent. I was expecting some kind of, uh, you know, verbal aggression coming out from a matured guy. I like think I would I'd, rather, I'd rather show that at the game than... Okay, yeah, that's I prefer, fair I prefer, enough. I prefer, I, prefer, I, prefer, I prefer my game talking for me than me talking. <laughs> okay, that's fair <laughs> enough. So guys, this uh, was Rachit, And thank you, Rachit, for thank spending so this much, time yeah. with us. Thank you so much.